Yeah. One time. I was born by the river. Uh, uh. In a tenement. Oh, oh. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to my channel. My name is Lena, founder of Jaded Nutrition. Have you ever been stuck in a food rut? Have you ever thought, I just don't know what to make, I don't enjoy food anymore, everything that I normally eat isn't satiating me? Well, you're not alone. There's lots of people that get stuck in food ruts. Everyone at some point in time in their life will encounter a food rut. So what can we do when we get stuck with food? I may be extremely passionate about nutrition, but I get stuck in food ruts. So I will come home and I'll think, I don't feel like cooking anything. I have lots of food in the fridge, lots of food in the pantry, yet nothing seems to be appealing to me. When I get stuck in this place, and it can be for multiple days in a row, sometimes weeks, weeks, I'll get stuck in this place of nothing seems to satiate me anymore. I have to take a step back and really look at what I've been eating, what I've been going through in life, and determine what my next step is going to be. So a lot of the time we'll get stuck in food ruts when we're in the midst of a season change. So we come out of summer, we're into winter, and we start eating lots of foods that are heavier in carbs, they're warmer foods, we're not eating as much salad. So we eat those foods for a prolonged period of time. You know, about three months, we get to this point where the season is starting to change, but the weather isn't. Especially if you live somewhere like Calgary, the weather can flip-flop all the way around and you can be in April, early May, and there's still snow on the ground. So the season is changing, but the weather outside isn't. When we stay eating the same foods that we've been eating for the last three or four months, it's inevitable that we're going to get stuck in a rut. We're going to get bored with food and we're going to gravitate towards foods that are convenient, that take all the brain power out of preparing meals, deciding what to cook, and we're going to gravitate towards those foods. So one of the biggest things that we can do when the season starts to change is switch up what we're eating to add different foods into our diet and different ways of preparing those foods. Now, if you look at your diet, a lot of the time, the base ingredients don't change, whether it's summer, winter, spring, or fall. They're all going to be the same, whether you're a meat eater, whether you're a vegetarian, you have your base sum of vegetables, your grains, your meats, your fats, those things don't really change that much. But with what does change is the preparation of them. If we stay preparing those foods in the same way for too long, then we're going to get bored with food. Because as human beings, we're wired to desire change. Now, I know a lot of people say, I don't like change. And change can be scary. But we have this inborn desire to have change. So when we stay stuck in the same way of eating, of course, we're going to retaliate. And we don't know what else to do but to gravitate towards convenient foods that don't take any effort to prepare. Packaged foods that are already planned out for us, all of the macronutrients are planned out for us. Going out to eat because we don't have to think about preparing foods or eat those same foods anymore. So one of the best things that you can do for yourself is to make sure that you're not only having variety with the foods that you choose, but you're switching up the ways that you prepare those base ingredients that you always have. So as the seasons start to change, our diet needs to change as well. This is one of the biggest components to why dieting fails time and time again. When we expect that we're going to be able to eat a certain way for a prolonged period of time, or for the rest of our lives, of course, it's not going to be maintainable and nor should it be. It's not satiating your need for variety on a physiological level, on an emotional level, that need for variety. And it's not satiating our need for change. 
So as the seasons change, our diet needs to change as well. If you feel like you're stuck in a rut with your diet, take a look at the time of year. Are you leaving winter and entering into spring? Because a lot of the time, when those seasons starts to shift, we're gonna get stuck in that rut of, I've been eating the same thing for the last three months. I'm feeling really bored. And that's normal. That's so normal and it's good to recognize that. That means it's time to change. It's time to switch things up. Another reason that we get stuck in the food rut, and I know that I'm at fault for this as well, is we have those base ingredients, but we have maybe a handful, half a dozen recipes that we cycle through. And we just go through the same meal after same meal after same meal. And at first, you know, you get that little butterfly honeymoon phase with with a certain recipe. I love this recipe, I'm gonna make this all the time. And then you find about a month into making that recipe, you don't wanna eat that food anymore. It doesn't take a lot of effort or brain power to cook the same five or six meals every single week. Where the energy comes in is preparing food and planning ahead and finding different recipes to make. So in a world where we are always chasing our day, our schedules are packed full and they're ever increasing, it's stressful to think about well, what am I gonna cook? I can just have this go-to that I cook all the time. I know how to make it. I know what ingredients go into it. It doesn't take a lot of brain power or effort to do it. You just do it. You kind of go on autopilot and you make this meal. This can only last for so long before you start to want something else. And maybe the answer for this is you find five recipes and you cycle through them for a month and that's what you do. And then the next month you find another five recipes and maybe for five days you're putting in extra effort. This is what you're going to need in order to get over that food rut that you have when you're preparing the same meals day in and day out. I know that people are busy with work and you come home and the last thing you wanna do is think about what you're gonna cook for dinner when you've just spent eight hours at the office, an hour in traffic. You don't wanna think about what you're gonna cook. So again, this is when we gravitate towards convenient food. It's easy to pick up a pizza or throw a frozen pizza in the oven and just eat that. And the food companies know that. They pry on that convenience factor that human beings have because we live in a world at hyperspeed. We are on the go all the time. We never have time to sit down. We don't have time. Most of us don't even make time to prepare meals. So processed, prepackaged food is an instant go-to and you don't have to think for one second about it. You don't have to use any brain power. You go to the store or you go to a fast food joint and you just pick it up. It's already made for you. So that's another way that we can be stuck in a food rut is that we gravitate towards those foods and they make up the majority of our diet. So if you're a person that eats a lot of processed prepackaged food or fast food, junk food, you are stuck in a food rut. And the only way to start to get out of that food rut is by eating foods that you enjoy, but taking some time to plan ahead. This is so important with your eating journey. You have to plan ahead. This is much different than a meal plan or a diet because the choice is still up to you what you decide to eat. And it's gonna depend on your likes, your dislikes, seasonality, geographic location, whatever is going on in your life is gonna determine the foods that you gravitate towards. But if you wanna get out of that food rut and you wanna to start to enjoy food again, you're gonna to have to switch things up and you're going to have to plan ahead. Another way we get stuck in a food rut is by not allowing ourselves to enjoy food. This is really big in the dieting world and I know that I used to have this love-hate relationship with food that 
made me feel good and that I enjoyed. I thought that in order to be healthy, I couldn't enjoy food. If I enjoyed the taste of food, then that food was probably bad for me. And this, you're missing the point. You have to enjoy food. If you're eating food that doesn't bring you pleasure, you're actually not digesting the food that you eat at your full capacity. When you eat food that doesn't bring you pleasure, you actually inhibit your digestion because you're in a stress response. It's stressful to eat food that you don't actually enjoy. I'm, I can say this a thousand times, dieting is always going to lead to failure, especially with food ruts. When you get into that, like, I don't even know what to eat, nothing feels good, nothing tastes good, Check what you've been doing with the food that you're eating and your mindset towards that food. Do you, count, do you count calories? Are you obsessed with macronutrient balance? Are you on a specific kind of diet to lose weight? Do you look at food as an enemy thinking, if I eat that, that's going to make me fat? Do you have a macronutrient imbalance where you eat a lot of one thing and not a lot of the other? Is there imbalance somewhere whether physical or emotional, in your diet, in your life that you need to address. So when we negate the desire and the need that we have for pleasure, it's very easy to get stuck in a food rut. Now, deriving pleasure from food isn't the same as just going and binging on ice cream or eating Domino's pizza every single day. This is much different. It's taking the ingredients that you truly enjoy and allowing yourself to eat them and to enjoy them. And if you really enjoy pizza, finding different ways to make that pizza healthier. Maybe you make the dough and the crust yourself. You buy organic vegetables, organic cheese, free range meat to put on it. You make it yourself. You can still have all of those comfort foods and the foods that you might deem as less optimal, but you can make a healthy spin on them. You can make those foods healthier. And of course, another way that we can temporarily get out of a little food rut, maybe just in the day, is we just allow ourselves to go out and eat, to give yourself a break from having to prepare food every day because it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. I know that once a week, we go out to eat and we, we only go out to eat at high quality establishments. So every time I go out to eat, I know what I'm getting is good quality because I don't eat at fast food restaurants. I don't eat where the food is junk. I eat at high quality establishments, but I need that recharge once, maybe even twice a week, we're going out to eat. I make sure that what I eat is healthy, but I make sure that I enjoy it. Now that pleasure, again, is going to send a relaxation response in your body and you're going to digest and assimilate that food much better than you would if you were eating a healthy meal, a healthy meal that you deem to be healthy, but you're eating it under stress. So this, this doesn't give you access to just go out and eat every single day, every single meal, because that's not going to help you either. But when you allow yourself to just to give yourself a little bit of a break, right? It's not a cheat day, that's not what this is. But going out on a weekend and thinking, you know what, I've worked hard the whole week, I've made meals, I've prepared them, I've put a lot of thought and energy and intention into my diet, I need to relax. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna enjoy myself, maybe I'll have a glass of wine, maybe I'll eat something that I might not normally eat on a regular basis. I'm going to make sure it's high quality. And first and foremost, I'm going to make sure that I sit and relax and enjoy that food. So these are just a few different ways that we can get out of a food rut and addressing why we get into a food rut in the first place. I'd love to know what you do when you just feel stuck with eating. What do you do? Do you go out to eat? Do you switch up the recipes that you make? Please leave me a comment below and share your story with me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jaded Nutrition. Give this video a like and share it. Thank you so much for watching me. Bye-bye. 
to carry on. It's been a long, uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. yeah, a long time coming, but I know.